Hi everybody, uh, my name is Toby Horner and I work in human resources at uh, a London city law firm called Clifford Chance. Um, my story uh, around how it gets better uh, relates um, primarily to sport um, and uh, a conflict with sport that I had growing up. Um, when I was younger I really really enjoyed uh, performing arts and um, particularly dance and I spent a lot of time in um, kind of on, on stage and in uh, dance lessons and things like that um, and that was my real real passion kind of growing up as a, as a young boy and I distinctly remember um, kind of growing up in a, a very kind of uh, sport focused family that there was a point in time where I felt terrible that I wasn't more involved in sport so I would literally go to my dance lesson um, in the evening swap my dance shoes for football boots um, and I would go back to back uh, from dance to, to football um, and I remember kind of going through this process for some time um, and then got to an age must have been early teen years where I was about to move to a brand new school where I was about to meet lots of new people and actually uh, kind of distinctly remember this point where I felt that I I couldn't be like that anymore. I couldn't. I couldn't be interested in um, dance and and music and theatre because boys just didn't do that type of thing. And I was worried about being different. I was worried about um, kind of feeling like I didn't fit in. So I had this moment, oddly, where I just threw away everything. I threw away lots of music that I was interested in. I threw away lots of programs and materials and memorabilia from the shows that I'd been in. I guess almost thinking that I was about to start this this new life or, or kind of knowingly, I guess, com compromising something about myself that I knew that I enjoyed. Um, and then I began to throw myself, I guess, to try and overcompensate for, for that into lots of different kind of sporting roles and responsibilities and positions of authority, thinking that I needed to, to be this person that was successful and did all of these kind of typical kind of masculine things. So at university, I was the president of the rowing club. Um, I now play for um, a gay rugby team, which is brilliant. But um, I think initially it was that moment in time where I, I, I recognized something in myself that I felt that I couldn't be, which is such a shame um, because it's only really now that I recognize as, a, as an openly gay man um, that you can do certain things um, like dance and boys and men can be interested in singing and performing arts. Um, and this kind of conflict I had with sport um, was, was unnecessary because nobody's treated me any differently. Um, if anything, people were frustrated with me for not telling them the truth. Um, and I think that my message really for, for people out there um, relating to It Gets Better is actually that you can do certain things that you think might not be typically masculine or um, at the end of the day, it's most important that you do things that you enjoy. And my biggest regret now is that I wasn't strong enough to be able to hold on to those things. Um, and it's only really now that I'm at a stage in my life where I'm completely happy with myself that I can enjoy those types of things again and I think that's a real shame. So my um, bit of advice really is to hold on to those things that you enjoy. Um, it, it does get better for those people that feel that they aren't completely living as they would like to be or living as themselves. Um, hold on to those things, enjoy them um, and as much as possible surround yourself with people that will uh, allow you to, to be your true self and will share those things with you as well. So it does get better.